Hey guys, I'm back. And it has been far too long since I played this. Like, I had to, I had a job interview. I got the job, so cheer for that. Um, did a bunch of other stuff. Had to had to sign a bunch of papers at my job that I got. He <laughs> hit. Uh, then I even did some live streams too, which were uh, they went pretty well. It was kind of sad though, because I only had like six viewers on average the whole time because I hadn't streamed in forever. But I did some interesting uh, stuff. I did some Mario Strikers, and then I even watched some Taiwanese DVDs, which were hilarious because I had no idea what was going on the whole time. But it was really fun. Did we get the Dragon Ball here? Uh, I believe we did. Yeah, looks like we did. Okay. Well, let's let's go ahead and leave then. Actually, let's switch characters first. Um, I don't want to be Goku because he's pretty OP. So yeah, I think last time I was talking about uh, that I like this part of the game, even though it's a fetch quest. Like, I don't mind fetch quests in video games if they're done right. Like, if it's you explore and whatnot to do whatever you're gonna do, like it's fine. Oh man. They are chronically lower leveled. Let's be Piccolo then. No, let's be Gohan. He's more important. But I don't have an issue with him, surprisingly. Because I'm a guy who you think would be, like, angry at video games. And bleh. But no. So yeah, that's really what I've been doing. I had some uh, some new people join the Taiwanese DVD stream. And they were like, hey, what do you, what do, you do on here? And I was like, oh, gameplay. Put gameplay in quotations, because it's more like me just talking with a game going on in the background, but, you know, it's how we roll. Okay, we got lots of Dragon Balls. I think Gohan needs to be, like, at least... He's got to be pretty high level, I know that, so this is going to be kind of a grindy few episodes that we have going, but that's fine. I like this game. I would say the worst part in this game is better than the best part in a bad game. If that makes any sense. Because this is probably the best... I'm gonna go out on a limb, even though Fighters came out, which is like a true arcade fighter, finally. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is the best Dragon Ball Z game. I, do, I actually do think that. Which seems a little ridiculous, but usually... Games that come from a TV show or like a movie or whatever are kind of crappy. Except for the, uh, ironically enough, except for South Park games, and I would say Dragon Ball Z. Ma maybe Naruto games are good, the Clash of Ninja is pretty good. I haven't played, I really don't have any examples, honestly. It's just that, usually when they take something from a series and they try to turn it into a game, it doesn't work very well. Um, except, no, Lord of the Rings for the Game Boy was good. Maybe I'll play... You know what, I want to play that game. I will play that game at some point on this channel, and I'll even though I'll get two views per video, I know it, because nobody likes that game except for Evan and I. Lord of the Rings, the Twin Towers, or not Twin Towers, Two Towers for the Game Boy Advance. I will play that one day, and just like the Harry Potter series that nobody watched on here, I will have fun, and yet no one will watch it. But that's okay, because... I mean... Views aren't everything. I like them, of course, but I think I think YouTube's about having fun, not about being a corporate sellout. All right, let's. Uh, oh, Goku! Oh, level forty. Goku's got to be level forty. Dang it. Well, let's go somewhere else first, then. We'll come here last. I don't even know if going this way short. Yay! I should go to the, uh... The islands with the crocodiles and grind there. That's a good place to grind. Those things give you a lot of XP. 
That was a good episode when I was talking about Florida and just how dangerous it is. And people were amazed. And by maze, and by people, I mean that, like, one person in the comment responded. Um. But yeah, it is, it is a good episode. Let's see, what's, uh, what's up here? Oh, this is that snow spot. Alright, let's go here, why not? I, I also, one thing I do love about this game. Oh, have we scanned these? I don't think we have. One thing I do love about this game is that it, it's just, like... It has the entire Dragon Ball map in, like, on Earth in one, and I don't even care if it's, like, not even that accurate, it's just cool that, like, you can fly to different spots and, and, and like, see the, the way that the layout is. Like, Corrin's Tower, oh crap. Like, where West City is, where Capsule Corp is, like, it's just pretty cool, in my opinion. Oh, I, I have definitely haven't scanned these guys. Let's scan them. 940, they have less health than the Tiger Bandits. Maybe they do more damage, though. Vegeta style. They gave a decent amount of XP, though, so that's good. Oh, I missed a spot. Let's go back there. Yeah, just... I'm just thinking, this game is so good. It's like, combat's good. The sprite animations... Like, for a Game Boy game, are absolutely great. The Like, uh... Like, the knockback is great. It, it's just... This, like... Far exceeded... The expectations considering how bad the first one was like I, I think they decided like we're really gonna go all out on game two because the first one was so successful that and we didn't even have to try so they're like let's go out on that one all right is there like a way around okay cool those red tigers do a lot of damage god I love doing that it's like it's just, it's a pretty good game. Like, and, and the thing is, it even holds up now. Like, some of those Game Boy games, like, just, they don't hold up very well. DS, too. Like, if you play some early DS games, just look horrific with the graphics. I, I will defend sprite animation, though, because, uh, I remember Continue. They had a good analogy, like, SNES era sprites look better than, uh, early, like, PlayStation and N64, like, Jagged Graphics, and the way I described it is, like, sprite animation is like your wife <laughs> that is always gonna be good, and the early 3DS graphics are like a supermodel that's not gonna be around for very long. And I was like, that's a good analogy, like, the N64, when it came out, you're like, whoa! But then you realize, in the long run, it's... The jagged graphics aren't that great. But you can go back and play, like... I don't know, uh... Contra. And even though it's, like... Pixel, it, I mean, it still runs at, like, 60 FPS. It's not, like, jaggedy and whatever, like... Not saying it's, it's a better quality overall. But... It holds up better. And it'll stick around longer. Just like your wife. Unlike a supermodel that you have a quick fling with. So yeah, that's a good analogy. Can I speak from experience but without supermodels and wives? No. But it's a good analogy. Don't hit me. Alright, let's... I'm fighting these guys because the tigers just do too much damage. They're like OP. They're OPAF. Oh man, I also forgot. Someone in the comments the other day said they were glad that somebody else was playing this game. And I was like, yeah, I, like, I totally agreed. I like put a little heart next to it. And this dude had like 500 subscribers too. And I was like, he's watching our channel, our failure channel. 
And he has 500 subs, that's awesome. So yeah, the community likes this game too. Which is always good. What's uh, did I go everywhere down there? Yeah, I did. All right. Oh god, another Goku 40 door. Jeez, maybe we'll just have to play as Goku, like... There's gotta be somewhere where there isn't a 40 door, though. It's probably on the beach with all those alligators. And we're gonna have to grind there with Goku, aren't we? Oh, we're, we can grind here, actually. I am ascending levels pretty quick here, so maybe this will be like a grindy episode. Where we hang out here for a little bit. There's no, uh... There's no save spot, though, which is kind of annoying. Like, I can't switch characters. But I can head, uh... I am near the Northern Wastelands, so... I can head back there and switch characters real quick. We might as well just get Goku up to 40, and then we'll just, uh... We'll open the doors, they'll stay open, and then we'll go switch to other characters. Oh, wait. I think this is another Goku door, though. Maybe it's a Vegeta door. I can't remember. I'm all scatterbrained today. I'm just like... Don't know what, don't know what I want to pick. Let's, we'll just stay here. We'll grind. God, I was gonna say, even the music in this game is good. Like, uh, yeah, it's 8 bit ish, but it holds up. And there are Falconer tracks, which is pretty cool. Bruce Falconer, the guy who did the dub. Like, I mean, obviously, they're not him officially making, like, 8 bit remixes, but it's, like, somebody else basically imitating the tracks, uh, like, perfectly. Like, this is a track from DBZ. Um, all the tracks in this game are. And then they even did it in the, the, this, sequel of this game, they had tracks from uh, Falconer as well, and they Boost Fury had a great soundtrack. Arguably better uh, combat, but I think I like this one just a little bit more because this is the one I played more as a kid, so. Nostalgia. Even though it's really fun to, like, put those extremely heavy boots in the next game and just level up like crazy. Because they, they, like, give you a boost to, um, uh, I wish I could just explain it. When I get to the game, I'll do it. You can put these boots on, kind of like weighted training, that just like give you more XP. And eventually you get extremely heavy ones that slow you down a lot, but they'll just give you so much XP. They'll just ascend through the levels really fast, and it's kind of funny. You'll be walking extremely slow, but... But when your XP is like three times... Oh, okay. It's three times more. It's worth it. Give me that chicken. Give me that chicken from the rock. This is good commentary. Every once in a while I stop and I think... You know, it's no surprise that I only get like 8 views per video because... Sometimes this commentary is just... Let's face it, it's not good. It's me... Talking about stuff... Some people are like sticklers about it too, like... Oh, you stick to the game, like, don't go off topic. Um, and some people also... Some people are here for me, but some people are there for the game. And I probably scare them off by, like, just going way off topic and... Random references and... Opinionated rants. Uh, and especially with my commentaries... It's, I mean, it's average. I like it when people are with me, but this is one of my solo playthroughs, so... Okay, Kamehameha. God! If I hit him, I level up. Holy crap, that does a lot of damage. I like the leather jackets they're wearing, though. I assume they're leather. Speaking of that, I got myself a leather jacket. 
And I used to make fun of leather jackets, and then I got one. It has, a uh, white, like, highlight stripes on the side. It's not like a pure greaser leather jacket, it's a little bit different. And now I'm obsessed with it, it's like literally my favorite jacket. And then I went out and bought a second leather jacket, like a complete scumbag. So... That's what happens, kids. You don't want to buy leather jackets. You make fun of them, and then you get one, and then you kind of like it. Kind of like, uh, skinny jeans, I used to think they were stupid. And now I wear skinny jeans. And, uh, don't tell Evan, but he's our skinny jeans now. Of course he's like, no, oh, they're slim fit, but they are. They're, they're definitely skinny jeans. Slim fit, my butt. It tied up to his legs, so. He also used to wear, like, only blue jeans, and now he wears, like, not full black yet. He hasn't gotten to that point like I have. But, uh, but he wears, like, extremely dark. Like, almost black. And also, uh, gray jeans as well, so. He's, uh, he's definitely, uh, turned into, uh, turned into me. He's copying my style. Pretty soon he'll start his own YouTube channel where he just rambles the whole time and plays games. He did do- he did do Twitch for a while, and he did, like, massively better than I've ever done. He got, like, 400 followers in a month, and then quit. Cause he just didn't feel like it anymore. Classic Evan style. Okay, get out of here. Gotta imagine that these these dudes taking all these punches from Goku are like stronger than they're stronger than like Nappa probably. Which is like, haha! No wonder, no wonder Kakarot is strong. He goes up to the mountains and fights red tigers. I mean, seriously, these guys are probably stronger than the, the average Namekian. I'm gonna pick apart this game. Bad game, terrible game, unrealistic, power level, scaling. Heh <laughs> Kekarot! Yo, you guys like my Vegeta? My, my Vegeta impression is somewhere between Brian, er, uh, Brian... Is it Brian Drummond? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian Drummond and early Chris Sabat when he was trying to imitate Brian Drummond. So it's kind of like a, haha, <laughs> Kekarot! It's not like a... Or now he's like, Kakarot. He's just like low pitch Vegeta. It's kind of weird. I'm not used to it. But I'm sure all the kitty bops out there are used to that because they've watched Dragon Ball Z Kai on like four kids. Didn't watch uh, Dragon Ball Z on Toonami back when they used to play the Ocean Dub for the uh, Vegeta saga. So I was used to that Vegeta. And then somewhere around Namek, his voice gets slightly lower, but I never noticed the difference. So I was actually used to the Ocean dub. Uh, which is pathetic, because when you go back and listen to it, you're like, holy crap, it's terrible. But that's the Vegeta I'm used to, the high-pitched, like, ha-ha-ha-ha-ha Vegeta kind of thing, so. Oh, well. And then later on, he's like, you know, I despise you, Kakarot! Like, it, it's not any lower, it's not like now, where he's just like, Whoa, 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 I'm Vegeta. Like, he doesn't even sound mean anymore. I mean, I know he's a good guy, but this whole thing is he's like this gruff dude that doesn't get along with people. As a matter of fact, it still sounds weird to me when I go back and watch it. And he refers to Krillin... Yamcha or Tien by name, instead of just calling them like Baldi or you idiot or just like some sort of insult. Especially Krillin, when he's like, Krillin! It's like, he just usually calls him like Baldi, short guy, earthling, human, just whatever, but never Krillin. He doesn't have time to acknowledge his name. Stop it! That's not fair! You're bringing a sword to a fist fight. 
What are these, by the way? Like, blue bears or something? Like, uh, I don't really know. Yeah, the, the, the sequel of this game did cover the whole Super Saiyan transformation um, debacle pretty well. Because it lets you retain the transformation much longer. Which is realistic, because by this point, Goku has mastered it. He can like basically live in it like without any energy loss. So. They do... But again, I, they, they fix some stuff. They fix some of the combat issues in this one. But I still think I like it more because, like I said, it's the one I played more. Alright, let's just break down this door. Hopefully there's a save or something back there where I can switch characters. Stop it, Blue Bear. Speaking of that, which... Uh, actually, not speaking of that. It has nothing to do with it. Um... Okay, these guys are comboing me. Get out of here. Um, there was open auditions for Blue's Clues, like, last month. I almost considered it. Like, I'd be a goofy... Goofy guy playing... Hey, everyone, it's me, Hayden. Blue's Clues. Boo -boo -boo -boo. I think I'd be a good, uh... Imagine me and Blue's Clues. I could be like that. Uh, I guess Piccolo. He's pretty. He's really far behind, which probably means I shouldn't pick him because he'll get wrecked. But yeah, I was used to Clash Royale where you uh, where you shoot where their shadows are. Like if you're trying to throw a fireball, you uh, that's where you hit them. Their hitboxes are their shadows, not uh. Where they actually are. Noob mistakes. Jeez, 50? We're gonna be here all night! God, they do so much damage. Okay. It's okay, the special beam cannon is the most broken thing in any video game ever, so. Look at this. <laughs> more broken than Hammer Bro yeah. in uh, Mario Strikers. Only like a few people will get that who uh, joined the stream the other day. But yeah, this special beam cannon might be more broken than the Hammer Bro. Stop running away, cowboy. What? That's it, Buckaroo Ride em, Cowboy. Whoa! I don't like that. Fifteen hundred? Okay, we're getting out of here. Holy crap. Let's fight some of these blue bears then. Jeez. Thank you, game, for giving me a... Uh... Yeah. See, the game's being nice right now. It's being a good game. It's not being Mario Baseball. Okay, 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 okay. Spoke too soon. Spoke too highly of this game. Stop it. Oh god. Oh! 
Run away! Not dead. I'm not dead. No! 